It is difficult to know exactly how many European jihadists joined the conflict in Syria. Estimates vary between 1,000 and 5,000 European fighters. The problem is growing. Mehdi Nemush, a French Algerian who made a deadly attack last May at the Jewish Museum in Brussels, is believed to have spent a year fighting in Syria. Two American journalists were brutally executed in Syria by jihadists suspected being British. These attacks are the results of such radicalization and fight training in Syria. To tackle the problem, the EU has enforced police data exchange, national security services. However, for this liberal member of the parliament, this is not the only solution. Security and intelligence is totally important. Repression is totally important. Criminal code, absolutely important. There is a balance, but the balance is not going to be in the side of full security with a small freedom. The solution is not big brother. The solution is full integration. Belgium has a lot of jihadists fighting in Syria. Most of them come from Vilvoort. The city is part of the Radicalization Awareness Network, which aims to prevent people from being radicalized at local and social level. This was founded by the European Commission in 2011. For this policy advisor in Vilvoort, fighting social isolation is a priority to prevent radicalization. In our local experience, we often see that it's, it is um, a social isolation that leads to radicalization, that leads to more social isolation. So that is something uh, we try to break when we talk about prevention of radicalization. We uh, tackle this on the local level um, in a group approach. However, the return of this young jihadist is what the EU member states fear the most. Medine Mush attack, for example, is much harder for national security services to predict and stop. But for Jessica Soros, the EU should focus on the social level instead of security, by giving European guidelines to social workers. We can have a clear discussion on um, the guidelines we at the local level can use um, to determine whether or not someone is radicalized, whether or not we should take away passports. So I think there's uh, an opportunity for the EU uh, to support the local levels in giving clear guidelines, in um, enhancing the exchange of information, not only on the security level, but also on the social level. The European Commission decided to set up a support centre to provide social advices and actions to member states, such as trainings to social workers. This will be set up next year.